Hey everybody, Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with another Five Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben. And today we're going to look at a game of um, two brilliant junior players. Uh, Vincent Kamer is white and Ali Reza Farouj is black. This was played a few months ago in August of 2023 in a Tuttle Tuesday um, on August 22nd. Okay, and a lot of the games between the world's best players uh, seem to be on chess.com now, and they're either rapid or blitz. More common than uh, slow chess, because there's just more blitz and rapid tournaments than slow tournaments. And for some reason, all the top players in the world like playing in these events. The prize money isn't huge, but it's a chance to play blitz and rapid against, you know, 2,700 players. So, you know, why not? You don't have to leave your house. Okay, so Vincent's white. He's already winning. Although, I mean, the players don't know that, you know, white's winning because it's some crazy position. Uh, and in this position, uh, Faruja, who's a big fighter, played very unusual move that I'm sure I wouldn't see if I was playing. Uh, Faruja played bishop takes b2, confusing the audience, but luckily for Kamer, not confusing him. And the idea is if we take the bishop, which looks obvious, then black is actually winning now with knight takes f4 check, and there's a discovery on the queen, and the engine says black is plus two. So that's the point. And so black is threatening, knight takes f4 check, winning the queen, and black is threatening, bishop takes the rook on a3. Okay. Kamer ignores the rook because there's something more important than the rook, and that's black's king. So he gets his queen out of trouble and plays the aggressive queen g4, which is the engine move. And obviously if black plays a defensive move, white will play bishop takes b2 and and just be winning up a piece and mating him. So he took the rook. Now black is up a rook. And typically, you know, you would try to play bishop takes a3, which is a blunder here because of knight e3 check, and black's winning again. So in blitz chess, there's a lot of pitfalls. you got to be really sharp tactically. Now in this position, white has maiden 5, which Kamer missed. And the maiden 5 is rook h8 check. You can't play king e7 because queen takes e6 is mate. So you have to play rook g8, then rook takes, king takes, knight takes e6 discovered check. Okay, and then queen g6 lasts the longest, but okay. And if king h8, queen g7 mate. So king f7 makes the most sense. And then queen g7 check, and then there's only one move here that's mate in one, and if you don't play it, you're not winning. <laughs> and the answer is f5 mate. So he could have made it that way. That's pretty cool mate, by the way. White's done a lot of material, but okay, white's pieces and pawns are all working together. Okay, so instead of that mate, uh, Kamer played, instead of rook h8 check, he played another forced mate, played knight takes e6 check, attacking everything. And if you take with the queen, uh, then I could just take with my queen, and I'm up a queen, and I'm threatening rook h8 with mate. So he played king e7. It's the best move. Queen takes check. Queen f7. And in this position, white has forced mate, but he decided instead of forced mate to take all of his opponent's pieces because it's blitz chess. If you can take all of your opponent's pieces, that's also good. So queen g5 check is made an eight, but he played queen takes f7 check, knight takes d8 check, and then uh, Faruja hoped to save himself with king e7, because then if bishop takes bishop, king takes rook, and then white's winning, but white just played rook g6 check, and then he'll play bishop takes a3 next move, and black ran out of pieces somehow, and shockingly, white has three connected pass pawns. So that attack turned into a material gain. And when I say a material gain, a lot of material. He's up a, he's up a rook and a, and, a, and a bishop after he takes on a3. 
So Ferruja obviously resigned. So Ferruja tried at the beginning with bishop takes b2, but that didn't work out. And eventually Kamer wrapped it up. And this is a game that this is two players we may see in the future playing in a world championship because that's, they're both over 2,700 feet A. Ferruja has been top five in the world and Kamer is going to be top five in the world in a year or two. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time with more Five Minutes with Ben. Bye.